this just looks dangerous like why would i want to like shred my feet like they're cheese or something like i ain't doing that Hey my harmonies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Symphony and today I'm going to be showing you guys my full shower routine, feminine hygiene routine, all of them routines that involve being in the shower. But before I get started, I really want to show you guys this jewelry that I'm wearing. It's from Julia Jewelry. It's the Julia Chain Design Round Cut Sterling Silver Bracelet. And obviously it has like gold over it, but other than that, like this is really icy. This is really me right here and yeah i just love this bracelet so much i've been wearing this for the past like two weeks or so and none of the diamonds fell off and i also got this ring from julia jewelry and focus yeah i got this heart ring well heart eternity ring from julia jewelry this from julia jewelry and i also have a coupon code with them which is simp gt15 and you guys can get 15 percent off your purchase and yeah i really love this and it's so pretty i just wanted to add that in there real quick even though this is like a little shower routine y'all know how i love wearing jewelry and i just had to put y'all on real quick but yeah before we get started make sure you guys like this video if you guys love watching shower routines and let me know what you guys do in your shower routine in the comment section down below and subscribe to my channel to join the harmony and click the bell button to receive notifications for me every time i upload so yeah i'm just gonna get started so right when I hop in the shower, I make sure the shower is like warm to hot but not too hot. So the soap I've been using lately is the Soft Soap Lustrous Glow Rose and Vanilla Body Wash. And it says exfoliating body wash, but I don't really see any exfoliating beads or anything like that. I love this soap so much. I mainly got it because of the design. And it just looks so pretty and girly. And it was super affordable too. It was only like $3 and I got it at Walmart. And it smells so good. Like it smells like I smell the vanilla. I smell the rose. And it's really moisturizing too. And for it to only be like $3, it really does a good job. So it says dermatologist tested. Good pH balance for your skin. It has real rose oil and vanilla fragrance. And biodurable cleaning. So this works really well for my skin. I usually switch out like my shower gels here and there. But lately I've just been loving this so much and i just had to show you guys what i've been using while i'm using this i go in with my exfoliating gloves and i had got these at tj maxx i don't know if you guys see my tj maxx haul and walmart haul i did like two months ago but i remember saying that these don't feel as rough but i take that back because these are rough these are really good like they're not too rough to wear it's like oh my gosh it's hurting me but it's like rough enough to wear like okay you're getting the dead skin off i'd rather use these than a rag because like they really get into your skin taking out the dead skin making sure you're not gonna get any um razor bumps or any type of bumps helps for body acne i definitely prefer these way better than rags because i mean rags are okay like if there's nothing else used then use a rag obviously because it's oh my gosh <laughs> i remember saying this in like my um other shower routine like the one that was like really popular like the one from two years ago i remember saying that it's nasty when people just use their hands and no not gloves but they don't use a rag and it is because like what are you washing off it's just you're just massaging the product into your skin instead of washing off the dirt if you don't use a rag or exfoliating gloves or something you know but yeah it's always good to use oh my gosh my ring keeps getting caught on this but it's always good to use these and this is like the perfect combination i just love also how like it's pink and i've been loving pink but honestly i'm kind of getting over pink right now because like fall is coming well falls around the corner and i'm like getting into like my browns and my blacks especially black like i've been really loving black lately but yeah this is a perfect combination after i'm done washing myself up i rinse myself out with like warm to cold wait well, no warm water because i still have to shave and stuff so i rinse myself out with warm water then i go on to my feet i go in with this brush right here or this foot scrubber i do not use this at all like i feel like there's no point for me to use this yet i'm too young i don't deal with that yet and actually i did deal with that like when i was working on my old job last year um i had problems like with like underneath my feet area because like i would wear socks sometimes with my flats like it really depends 
but sometimes I wouldn't honestly because it was just flats to me but always wear socks no matter what <laughs> please y'all always wear socks it'll help so much with your feet and you don't get that like hard stuff underneath like your heel area of your feet but yeah i was dealing with that and this helped but mainly wearing socks now i don't even deal with that anymore so I'll always wear socks and this part this just looks dangerous like why would i want to like shred my feet like they're cheese or something like i ain't doing that so i'll always just use this and if i want to take off any dead skin i'll just use this and it just works perfectly for me and with that i don't go in with the soft soaps just because i'd rather go in with my dove beauty bar and it's just the rose scent kind and i just put it in here and i got this out one more too and by the way i'll link everything that i'm using in this video well i'll link everything that i use in my shower routine in the description box down below so you guys can purchase them if you want to but yeah the name or the dove logo is like going on here but i love using this and it smells so good it smells just like roses and you know dove is known for like moisturizing and stuff so i feel like using this with this is like perfect for my feet just to keep them smooth and really soft and like you know pretty stuff like that but yeah i love using this and i just scrub my feet for like a minute or two and then next i'll go with my skincare routine and i'll leave that video in the description box down below as well because i genuinely use those products and they've been working pretty good on my skin um, I noticed like my acne scars right here are fading away, but obviously you cannot see it because I'm wearing makeup. Ooh, obviously you cannot see it because I'm wearing makeup. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, shaving. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all, shaving be tiring me out, like literally, because I gotta shave my legs, I gotta shave my armpits, and I gotta shave her, and it's just so much shaving. And I use the Skin to Mint Moisturizing Shave Gel and the set Coconut Delight. Oh gosh. And it smells so good. It smells like coconut. It smells like island. It smells like... It smells bomb. But it has vitamin E and coconut water. It's actually really moisturizing and a little bit does go a long way. I just put it all over my legs. And I almost forgot to mention me washing my ears. So when it comes to washing my ears, I just use a rag. I use a rag in the Dove soap and I just wash my ears with the rag. I don't use exfoliating gloves. I feel like that's too harsh. But with the rag, I just go on with that. Um wash my ears inside here on the back back to the shaving i just shave my legs okay so i'm just gonna show you guys how i shave my legs so this is what i do so let's say this is my leg i just do this 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 then i shave this way this way this way then i shave this way this way. like i shave everywhere like all different types of angles because at this point like obviously i cannot see like especially like on the back of my leg or something i can't see where the hair grows so it's like whatever i'm just gonna shave this way up down side to side across cross so it's whatever and i don't really get any razor bumps and the only time i do get razor bumps is when i don't exfoliate so it's always important to exfoliate that's why i always recommend exfoliating gloves they really get the job done but yeah that's what i do with my legs and i shave my armpits up down side to side same thing when it comes to her she's really really sensitive so i have to make sure that i'm like shaving a shave downwards and if i need to shave upwards i just do it once or twice the razor that i use is the gillette venus venus gillette razor this is okay it doesn't work that amazing i've used better is it worth the 14 or 10 dollars i spent no like i really want to try something else so bad but i'm just gonna wait until i use this head and the other head then i'll try something else because it's just gonna pile on into like my bathroom and it's just i'm not gonna do that so i'm just gonna wait until i finish this up i do like how it has like the design on it, it has like a little grip here it's less likely gonna slip out of your hands like it's pretty comfortable to use but just the razor it's not it's not all that at all it's not worth the 14 or 10 dollars or whatever how much i spent on this so after i'm done shaving i'll automatically go back in with my exfoliating gloves and the soft soap lustrous glow and this works amazing like i said it does really moisturize my skin and i just want to make sure that i'm not getting any razor bumps when i get out the shower so i just go in and rewash my body just to make sure that everything is like scrub down no razor bumps no dead skin none of that since my skin is like more extra soft now since i've been in the shower for like 20 minutes now or not even 20 minutes 
maybe like 30 minutes now or something so yeah i just go back in with this right after i'm done shaving it comes to like down there i don't use any type of soap the only time i use soap is when i'm cleaning the hair areas which is the um soft soaps but i don't like go in and wash because that's gonna cause infections that just throws off your ph balance if you do wash yourself with like actual soap like inside so don't do that but yeah just go in with warm to cold type of water and just rinse it off then i'll be good then after i'm done doing all that that i just did i'm ready to get out the shower but before i do so i rinse out my body with warm to cold water but the water is still kind of warm but it's more on the colder side just to make sure everything's locked in and yeah so now my favorite part of my shower routine is moisturizing myself because even though i did like get moisturization from like the soaps i use my skin does get pretty dry still y'all i love using coconut oil right when i hop out the shower it immediately moisturizes my skin and it just helps with a lot of things like with the body i feel like it helps with like my razor bumps as well too and i got this one from kroger's it's the pure coconut oil and right after i use the coconut oil i go in with more moisturizing because i love moisturizing my skin and keeps it healthy and nice and glowy and y'all know it's always good to have glowy skin so i go on with the jergens enrich well enriching shea butter and this is what the bottle looks like and this moisturizer melts into the skin deeply to condition and enhance your natural sheen and has african shea butter which is used for skincare for centuries i don't use this every time i hop out the shower sometimes i go in with this but lately actually i've been going in with this i do switch it up with different bath and body works lotions but i've been loving the champagne toast body lotion and i just use this wait no okay look let me say this i use the coconut oil for all over my body except for my face like literally all over my body and then i go in with like some type of actual lotion and i just use it for like my legs um my chest area my arms not the v area at all sometimes my behind sometimes but with this i definitely use this for my legs and my arms and my chest like the main area since it's like a really scented type of lotion and this smells so good it smells so girly and fresh and just pretty much yummy and just i don't know it just gives me a lot of girliness it makes me feel relaxed and cozy then for the body mist lately i've been going in with my victoria's secret coconut passion body spray and this smells so good it smells like coconuts and y'all know i love coconuts smells amazing it smells really warm too it's not too much of a strong coconut scent or i go in with my champagne toast body mist like it really depends like i swear i switch out things all the time just because i have so many things i need to use up so the key notes with this is bubbly champagne sparkling berries and juicy tangerine and these two together are amazing because obviously they're the same thing but like they're more like a stronger like the scent's more stronger together you know but this is also perfect with the jergens lotion so last but definitely definitely not least is must needed people seem to forget this main thing that we all need okay we all need this but yeah people act like they don't know what the heck it is or they never heard of the product but last but not <laughs> last but not least i go in with my dove deodorant and i just got this and it's called the even tone calming breeze and it has vitamin b3 in it and it's gonna help with like lightening my underarms because i do suffer with like hyperpigmentation underneath and they're a little bit hairy right now the hairs are going back but yeah i feel like this has been helping a little bit um it's probably gonna take time it lasts all day and it smells so good it smells so refreshing and and just for this to help line up my underarms that's gonna help so much oh my gosh my phone it's blowing up who's trying to oh let me stop <laughs> first i'll go in with the coconut oil then the next day i put on deodorant because when i'm asleep i feel like there's no point because i'm not really doing anything you know but sleeping unless like you're the type of person to like get sweaty and stuff while you sleep then maybe put deodorant on i don't know but for me i put deodorant on the next day right after i shower because i do take night showers sometimes it's day showers where i mainly go for night because it's more relaxing and my skin can like soak up like all the lotion and like whatever i put on my skin like while i'm sleeping and i wake up feeling moisturized and nice and just you know wake up feeling good but yeah that is all for my shower routine my feminine hygiene routine all that stuff and i really hope you guys enjoy this video let me know if you guys are going to try out any of the products that i mentioned or let me know your shower routine in the comment section down below and like this video subscribe to my channel to join the harmony 
and yeah so i love you guys so much and god bless you all in jesus name and i'll see you guys in my next video